discrediting with the false mode of concern. That's no, what a smear campaign is. I think we is. know what a smear campaign is. Okay, so they're all feeding into her narc monster right now because <laughs> this is true. No, they don't even know her. They can make up their own minds, you guys, Kelly. It's well, I want to add someone to the conversation. This is Dr. Charles Sophie, who is... He's a member of the Dr. Phil Advisory Board. He's board certified in three clinical specialties. Adult psychiatry, child and adolescent psychiatry, and family practice. He's also the medical director for the Department of Child and Family Services here in Los Angeles, which, by the way, is the largest agency of its kind in the entire United States. And I don't say often enough, thank you for serving on our advisory board, and thank, thank you. you for being here today. Absolutely, thank you. Um, I'll ask you first, are you concerned about this grandmother as a serial child molester? No. You're not, not concerned about her as a child molester? And let me ask you, are you concerned about the f potential fitness of this mother taking care of this child? Absolutely, yes. Um, and what are your concerns and, and why? Well, I think she presents herself today. I mean, you talk at us. You won't give us a minute to emote. We can't get a breath, a word, nothing. I think you feel that if you talk, it'll squash us and we'll go away. But I'm not sure you're even there, because the video that we saw and a lot of the time that you were talking, you're vacant. And I think you did some brain damage with the drugs that you did, and I don't even know if you were aware of it. Um, either you have some genetics, you know, there's some kind of mental illness within your family, or these drugs did something to your head, or you had a breakdown, you hit a wall and your daughter is suffering. You gotta be able to step back and see it. Right. I've been working to parent myself. I did not have support at all during this whole I time. Understand. And that's why it spiraled out and, you and are got doing so bad. The best you can do, and that she's smear not campaigning safe for her. I understand. in order to discredit me. And that's what I this whole okay. thing is about, is right. so that people don't out. believe that she's a child time molester out. because I'm the only one okay. who knows that Just she is. Out. Your daughter has to come first. Yes, if my not, daughter definitely has to come first. And you don't want her taken until you can you give her to somebody that you love and trust until you get yourself together. You're not in your right mind 100%. What? You have to be able to see. That's why I've been working on myself. I know. It's not about that, though, Kelly. You may, may need Listen. more or different kind of help. And well, Terry fine. says there are other factors that could be exacerbating Kelly's sudden change in personality. We're going to talk about what those are after the break. We'll be right back. Terry says the woman sitting across from her is not the daughter that she raised. Terry believes a combination of possible cult brainwashing, an untreated concussion from a gymnastic accident, drug-induced schizophrenia, all of these things might be intermittently affecting her daughter from time to time that has resulted in some different thinking, some different evaluative, critical thinking in the way that she sees the world. Um, it's, it, it's interesting to me, if, if you do look at the timing of what's gone on, I'm